Hello and welcome to this evening's edition of E-Prime. I am Daydran. Dancehall artist Governor featured in Rolling Stones magazine. The fourth general recording artist has shifted his attention to the international marketplace, teaming up with Universal Music Group artist Bad Girl for the single Open the Door. Following its release, the Jamaican DJ was featured in Rolling Stone magazine who chronicles the track as a propulsive marvel. The Open the Door single is the work of Barcelona-based DJ Papi's take on one production and the track features steel drums, a piano-heavy bridge with accents of salsa. Visuals for the single has amassed over 1.8 million views via Vivo. In the meantime, after wrapping up a successful five-city tour in the United Kingdom in mid-October, Governor is currently promoting the singles In a Disguise, Shrimp Patty, and All of It, courtesy of Arms House Records and Immuto Records, respectively. The Wanna Move hitmaker is scheduled to return to Canada for a show come December. Dancehall artist Conscience's new mixtape, Raw, is dedicated to females only. Raw is the follow up to Conscience's 2018 album, It Feel Good which was released in March of this year. The 14-track mixtape features guest artists, including Dexter Daps on the single Say My Name and Now A Power on the track Feel It, the remix. Conscience has made a name for himself in dance all over the past decade with a consistent supply of hits. He has released conscious singles, party songs, and now he's doing an entire album for the ladies. The album Raw was released under Conscience's label Subconscious Music. The Wilma's Old Boys Association is celebrating dancehall artist Sean Paul's success. The Wilma's Old Boys Association recently honored the temperature DJ and Wilmerian during its annual fundraising banquet on Saturday. Sean Paul was awarded for his outstanding contribution to music and Jamaica. So but we just want to show our appreciation to Sean for all the great things that he has done and for his outstanding contribution to music and to Jamaica. Sean, don't be proud. Pick up yourself. 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 Pick up and respect you, you know. Salute. Give that. Say that. It's an honor. Yeah, man. That's an honor to be honored. See? Sean Paul's hard work and dedication over the years has earned him several Grammy and Billboard Music Award nominations. His accomplishments include an American Music Award, MOBO Award, Soul Train Award, MTV Music Award, ASCAP Rhythm and Soul Music Awards, a Source Award, and a BET Award. The fundraising event was a star-studded affair featuring performances from top-notch artists, including Sean Paul, Ching Ching and Governor with breakout artists Jada Kingdom and Baker Stees also making appearances. Now to news overseas, pop star Katy Perry is the highest paid woman in music. According to the Forbes list, Perry has secured the top spot pulling in 83 million US dollars pre-tax. One of the hardest working names on the list, Perry, played 80 dates of her witness the tour in Forbes' June to June time frame, grossing over a million dollars per night. She also managed to find time to serve as a judge on ABC's American Idol reboot, reportedly earning north of $20 million. Singer Taylor Swift ranks second with $80 million, while R&B superstar Beyonce rounds out the top three pulling in $60 million. That's it for this evening's edition of E-Prime. I'm Deidre thank you for watching.